I say this every time I get one of these here, but these old trucks are super cool. I like them a lot. I actually tuned this one a few years back with the OEM ECU. They put Holley Terminator X in it, and man, it's probably been every bit of a year that they've been trying to get this thing running well enough to even get it here. And as you can see from our learn table, we have some pretty significant issues going on. So I just pulled the file out of it. Let's take a quick look and see where the problems are. I'm guessing we're probably going to have to essentially start all over again, which is fine, but Hopefully the problems are within the, the way that it's set up and not mechanical. So let's take a look. Verify the injector part number. That's good. Change all this. All right. You can see the problem already is a naturally aspirated deal there is no turbo there is no supercharger and we're scaled to 22 pounds of boost so hopefully we just correct our scaling and it'll be smooth sailing but for the sake of oof it's pretty rough basically some wizard stuff Default settings there. Idle time in super low. Looks like basically a default file, but I'm going to just make the assumption that our map sensor scaling is the primary issue. So let me double check the injector part number, make sure we're good there. And I'll build a whole new file from scratch and we'll get started. Stop looking at me shit! All right, built an entirely new file, verified that the injectors are what they are, scaled our map correctly. Went ahead and did a firmware update while I was at it, TPS auto set. Let's see if they'll run any better and hopefully not have a thousand percent correction going on. Stop playing. <laughs> better started better learn is turned completely off and our closed loop is actually turned off right now too uh, because it's warming up our target air fuel is 14.0 and we're at like 14.3 so hopefully that means any excitement has been taken care of and we don't have any major issues going on I'm just gonna let it warm up and once it's warmed up we'll just start chopping up the fuel table so I learned zero because it's turned off. We're at like 150 degrees, so our closed loop is on. Okay, we're like one or two percent. His main concerns were poor fuel economy, which I think we got that straightened out already. Felt a little bit sluggish, which I would assume so, the way it was scaled and set up. Last but not least, he wants the idle to sound choppier like it did with the factory ECU. So even though our fuel is pretty close at idle, the odds of it being close everywhere else is probably pretty slim, so we're just gonna like rough cut the fuel table first.
probably going to need to add some more, but let's make a quick little run and see what happens. that one from like 2500 to about 4000 got about six or seven percent positive positive correction kind of was expecting that going into it i probably took out way too much timing but i'd rather start on that side of it 55 percent duty cycle and it made uh, right around 200 horsepower i'm going to fix our closed loop correction and throw some timing in it and rev it a little higher on this one forgot another complaint that he had was it would cold start okay but it would not start once it was warm without giving it some throttle so we're like 190 in change cooling temperature right now well, this i think this is the first time i've shut it off since we had it running so let's see how the cold start is or hot start is so that was pretty terrible but it was in gear so sometimes it'll start funny like that let's try it again with it in neutral pretty spot on and ironically this car had terrible intermittent starting issues with the OEM ECU. Alright let's make another full throttle run. So the closed loop correction looks exactly how the engine sounds. I missed my target a little bit down low, like 3,000 to 4,000. Still need to add a little. And then our correction went to basically zero. And then when you heard it, it sounded like the converter decided it wanted to start doing something. Our correction went from nothing to about 6%. So I wasn't expecting the power increase up there. So we're still at 74% duty cycle. And that was about 5,000 RPM. So we're probably going to get towards the limit of these injectors once we rev it all the way out. And that was about 260 horsepower. All right, I'm going to do maybe another run or two, try and get this fueling straightened out, and then we'll start. I'll show you the data log and show you the dynograph and all that good stuff. It's like 300 degrees in the truck, sweating my butt off. So it's a whole lot easier just to be able to use two monitors. You can look at the log on the screen, look at the software on the screen. So I'm gonna make some corrections. We'll try it again. So still haven't revved it as high from 4,500 up and up. It's up on up in power everywhere. I wasn't really worried about power on this one. I didn't necessarily expect it to make more, and we still theoretically should be able to put some timing in it. But um, if you look at our log here, after a few revisions, our closed loop fueling is pretty close. But I'm more excited about how well it's starting now. Um, I just tried 20 different things. I think we got that ironed out now, but let's take a look at our correction here. All right, I made the closed loop correction big and fat so you can see it easy. Just looking at it right away, you can tell that it's a relatively straight line. And if we scroll through our log here, you can see what it's this flat and it's zero. That's, uh, I don't feel I'm too lazy to pull it up, but. Sometimes when you slack, it can make it more better because old dirty is wild. Odds are closed loops turned off there due to uh, tip in. 1%, zero, one, zero, one, one, two, one, zero, one, one, Two one zero one. And a little touch of a two right at the very end. So I'm going to consider that to be basically as good as it's going to get. We need a little bit more acceleration enrichment, I think. So we'll touch that up and we'll try some timing on this run. This thing's relatively 
stockish, so it doesn't make a ton of power, but it made 317 on that run. Way more important to me than making power is check out the way it starts up now. So our timing picked up like 8 to 10, just about everywhere. Let's take a look. So obviously the red is with less timing, blue is with more. Graph looks nice and good. It's showing a bunch of torque because the converter is real loose and it flashes real hard. It's pretty normal, especially when the converter is kind of goofy like the one in this thing is. Technically, you could probably pick up another three or four horsepower with another degree of timing, but considering that this is a cruiser and he's not looking to light the world on fire with it, I think we're gonna call it good here. Since he's been through so much trying to get to this point, the last thing I wanna do is tell him the trans broke or something happened. So we're gonna consider that good. I'm gonna touch up some more of the startup. I'm gonna drive around a little bit and just touch up, make sure all of our part throttle stuff is good to go since that's how he spends most of his time. But uh, yeah, this will give you a look into the process kind of a textbook example of why you should try to have these things tuned and not just use the wizard to uh, get you up and going because this thing honestly with the way that the file was in it and the, the closed loop and the learn corrections and everything i'm kind of borderline uh, impressed that it made it here but on the flip side uh, this is what's nice about the handheld thing in the wizard is he was able to get the car up and running and bring it here so uh yeah just a double-edged sword on that one i guess Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.